gasp with awe or shriek with fear, for we're going to go mythological on your ass. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creatures from Norse mythology. Who can forget the time he heroically fought the Jotun alongside the All Father Odin? That didn't happen. For this list, we'll be ranking the most legendary and fearsome creatures of Norse mythology, which is a mythos deriving from the folk tales and legends of such Scandinavian countries as Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. But one day. The god Thor, son of Earth, was fishing in the sea for the serpent, using a bull's head for bait. Number 10. Dragar. Do the dead frighten you? Dragar are undead revenants that have been reanimated from the grave. Sound familiar? Yep, even Scandinavia has their own unique take on zombies. These corpses often remain rooted in their final resting places, guarding whatever treasures or trinkets were buried with them. Though undead, a Draugr can die a second death, usually through some manner of burning, decay, or dismemberment. Draugr also have a certain strength of will, since their reanimation is often the result of a desire for vengeance upon those who wronged them in life. In other words, watch out. Number 9. Fossagrimmen. Fossagrimmen are spirits that usually reside within bodies of water, playing mournful tunes on an instrument, typically a harp or fiddle. A Fossagrim can be persuaded to teach its magical musical skills to humans in exchange for an offering of food. If only the bare minimum is met, then the Fossagrim will only teach the basic instrumental skills. However, should the food offering meet the spirit's standards, then the lesson will include drawing their students' hands upon the strings of the fiddle or harp until bleeding occurs, infusing that person with the Fossagrim's innate mystical talent. Number 8. Slipnir In the world of Norse mythology, there are battle steeds and then there is Slipnir. This fearless and bold eight-legged horse accompanies Odin the king of the gods to face all of his enemies in war. Slipnir is actually the offspring of the trickster god Loki and the horse Svailfari. While in the guise of a heated mare, Loki was impregnated with Slipnir, eventually giving birth to the magical steed. Able to travel great distances and thought of as, quote, the best horse among gods and men, Slipnir was eventually taken by Odin and became his most beloved beast. Number 7. Ratatoskr. Introducing Ratatoskr, glorious champion of Yggdrasil. Even Asgard has its small and humble creatures. Ratatoskr has the important task of being the god's own personal messenger service, continually bringing messages back and forth between the hawk Vedrfolnir and the dragon Nithok, who reside upon the top and bottom of Yggdrasil, the world tree, respectively. The origins of the name Ratatoskr stem from the Old Norse word for tooth, leading to theories that the squirrel would gnaw at the world tree. Although Ratatoskr is a relatively minor character in Norse mythology, he maintains an influence in media by appearing in Marvel's unbeatable Squirrel Girl comic as a giant squirrel who trash talks everyone. Number 6. Jotnar These giants of Norse myth vary in appearance and distinguishing characteristics and take residence in the realm of Jotunheim, one of the nine worlds stemming from the tree Yggdrasil. The first Jotnar came into the world from the armpits of Ymir, while Ymir's feet gave birth to a six-headed beast. It was these three creatures that brought about the race of frost giants. Jotnar of both fire and frost have been known to interact with the gods of Asgard. Whether it's Surtur, the fire Jotun of Muspenheim, or the dangerous frost Jotnar of Nipheim, these mythical giants are an ever-present and ever-evolving force among the nine worlds. Number 5. Dwarves at the mention of dwarves, one may think of the Tolkien battle-hardened variety, or even a group of seven singing miners. But the dwarves of Norse mythology differ quite a bit. They originate from Germanic mythology, typically depicted as gatekeepers or metalsmiths. 
four specific dwarves, Norori, Suori, Austri, and Vestri, whose names are Old Norse for the four cardinal directions, are assigned with holding up the four corners of the sky. The physical origins of dwarves are a bit more gruesome, however, as they're often described as springing forth from the skin of Ymir, father of Jotnar, as a maggot or parasite-esque growth. That paints quite the picture. Number 4. Trolls Trolls are a cornerstone of Norse mythology and folklore, though they bear little resemblance to those fuzzy-haired little dolls we all know and love. The trolls like to live everywhere! Trolls of myth tend to hide away from humankind as well as the light. The daylight actually possesses a lethal touch to the Norwegian troll, as its rays turn them instantly to stone. The Norse trolls tend to travel and live in a tight family or group unit. They shun contact with people and even prove to be dangerous for those unwise enough to cross their path in the dark of night. <laughs> Number 3. The Kraken Casual movie fans may associate the Kraken primarily with the Clash of the Titans, but myth buffs know that the beast's roots actually date back to Norse culture. Specifically, the Kraken was a fearsome sea creature that prowled oceans, swallowing men and entire ships whole in its wake. Sea monsters are no strangers to the world of myth, of course, yet the Kraken's legacy continues today in popular culture, be it in film or black spiced rum. <laughs> In fact, the giant squid genus Archituitus is said to be the closest approximation to what the Kraken might have looked like in Norse legend. So a vast ye mateys. Number 2. Fenrir This offspring of Loki is the lord of all wolves and possesses a grim destiny, one that is entwined with both the Allfather Odin and Tyr the god of justice. Fenrir is restrained by bonds throughout much of classic Norse myth, keeping his violence and rage at bay. But myth states that he will break free during Ragnarok, the world's end, and he will engage the gods in final battle. These bloody skirmishes will result in the loss of Tyr's hand and in the death of Odin, although Odin's son Vidar will have his revenge upon the wolf, slaying him in return. <laughs> Before we release our beast at the top of our list, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Jormungandr The great sea is held in place by Jormungand, the serpent, whose giant body encircles it and who keeps his tail in his mouth to complete the circle. Also known as the World Serpent, this son of Loki takes the form of a gigantic serpent so large, he's able to encircle Midgard, where humankind resides, while holding his tail in his mouth. If this image sounds familiar, that's because it's the same as the classic Ouroboros, a serpent devouring its own tail, which serves as a metaphor for the cyclical nature of life in many cultures. Perhaps where Jormungandr plays his most important role is in the events of Ragnarok, or the Viking Apocalypse. Legend says that the Great Snake will release its grip on its tail, poison the sky, and fight Thor, the God of Thunder. While Thor will defeat the monster, it will be too late, as the world as it once was will have ended. Thor will kill the serpent, but die from its venom. Do you agree with our list? Which creature from Norse mythology is your personal favorite? For more world-traveling top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Release the Kraken!